are back with another segment on this bow tie Mexican style chicken almond pasta. So we're gonna go ahead and put this to the side so I can go ahead and finish chopping up these veggies so they can go inside. Now I did cut a lot off camera just to make things a little bit easier and more time consuming. Now a lot of people don't like to use the stems in the cilantro, the cilantro stems, which is perfectly fine. I like to sometimes use it because the stems sometimes do have a lot of flavor in them. So I'm just gonna finish picking the stems off. Off the few. And these little bit of stems that are left over is perfectly fine. And we're just gonna keep chopping up the cilantro to get it into nice fine pieces. With the nice fine pieces, we're gonna put it inside the pasta. When I tell you your girl is cooking up a storm this Sunday, which I cook every Sunday up a storm, but I tell you, it's gonna be good. So all my um, my subscribers, family and friends out there, I am starting a podcast. The podcast will be next month on the 1st. So it'll be May 1st of 2023. The podcast name is going to be Nefertiti's Girls. Now, Nefertiti is near and dear to me. I have the tattoo on my chest, the center of my chest. And I love the, the, um, the meaning behind her name and her power. And like I said, my Aunt Rose... She was a black Nefertiti to me, very strong, beautiful, beautiful in and out. And she took no junk from no body, okay? Didn't care who you was. You didn't do what you're supposed to do, you got cussed out. Plain and simple. All right, now that I got the cilantro in here, we're just gonna put it off to the side because I wanna further chop up these uh, green peppers. So I have green peppers and red peppers that I am using in this recipe as well. I also have some diced onions that um, I already have diced in there as well. I got a little bit of celery. I only use one celery stick and I cut it up and um, use it in that as well. And then I have a little bit of cut onions and um, not cut onions, but cut carrots as well. Now, I have a mixture to the left. I have some tomatoes. A little bit of the scallion onions and dill. I have my famous chicken salad that I already made. I'm gonna have to show you guys do a segment on that on just a chicken salad one day so you can see how to make that. I also have my whipped salad dressing. I have the uh, horseradish hot Dijon mustard. And then I have some spicy mayo as well. And last but not least, extra virgin olive oil. And then already pre-cut flat almonds that I have. I have the uh, Walmart brand that you can buy in the bag. It was $1.42. So all together, this meal right here that I am cooking with the taxes and everything like that, it came up to $25 for 
for this dish right here. And that's just basically making sure that you have everything that you need. Now I am gonna put this um um on the 20 and under mills because like I said with the taxes it came up to 25. All right, you guys, so we got the cilantro, we got everything in here, so we're just gonna put it in the bowl right now. I love cooking with cilantro. It has a nice, zesty garden smell. My grandma used to have a garden when I was a little girl. So we used to snap peas and pick the tomatoes and collard greens, turnips, you name it. Just about anything that you can, um, that you're supposed to have in the garden, my grandmother had it in her garden. I learned it from the best, which was my mom, Hattie Mae, and her mother taught her, which was Josephine Bryant. So we're gonna shout out to all my loved ones in heaven. I miss you guys and God bless the dead. All right, so we got these elbow noodles and they're called, I can't pronounce it, so I always call it bow tie noodles because they look like little bow ties to me. So I have two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil. Now the extra virgin olive oil, it give it that uh, it give it that extra kick that it needs. It give it it give it that coating that it needs, so all the items can go ahead and stick through. And after we got this mixed in really good, I know people are like why are you always using your hands. I'm a hand cooker. I like to get in the crevices and nooks and crannies to make it even good. Okay, so we got that in here. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the cilantro, the um, the green peppers, the red green peppers. We're gonna go ahead and put the onions, the celery, and a little bit of carrots that I put in here. And we're actually gonna go ahead and mix in the diced tomatoes, a little bit of dill, and some chives. Go ahead and mix that stuff in. Get it all mixed in. So it can be good. Now, I don't know why I didn't get the bigger bowl. So I'm going to go ahead and put this over in here. Yes. Yeah bigger bowl because we didn't need it i don't know what i was thinking that i was going to be okay with that smaller bowl now that we got the booger the bigger bowl we're just going to go ahead and finish mixing it in and i'll tell you this smells great it looks great smell great okay now that we got that in we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in the chicken salad that I made on the side. Now I can give you guys a quick rundown. So it's the canned chicken. You're gonna drain the water off of it and you're gonna put a little bit of chives in there and then some mayo. Okay, now this is the horseradish mustard that we're putting in there. And then this is the salad dressing. So it's similar to mayo, but not too similar. Far as the seasonings, we're gonna add that in just a minute, but I wanted to get this down in here first all this in I was shocked as smell this boy yes 
Okay, got these elbow noodles in. Now that we got the elbow noodles in. Okay, you guys. So, we have our complete, our adobo, and we have paprika in here. So, we're just going to put it in, and we're going to mix it really well. I changed my glove. Still say I get a better mix when I'm using my hands. But I'm going to show you guys that I can use a spoon too. <laughs> I don't like to use the spoons. But I'm going to show you guys that I can. Okay, we're going to add these almonds. And I'm back using my hand. <laughs> it gets a better mix when you're using your hand. All right, you guys. So we're going to finish it up by adding a nice little layer of almonds. So it can look pretty and taste good. And we're gonna top it off with paprika. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give you